Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 11 of my new boss is Goofy. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. What's up? Ah! Yeah! Oh, I think he's going to move. No, I think he... <laughs> <laughs> you think you switched accidentally to cold? Oh, are you hot dog? Hi, baby. You be good today. <laughs> I know you just can't resist. <laughs> I stay here.
button. Get on, baby. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> you sure about that? Absolutely no. No. <laughs> but you want to help him, no? Oh, my God. Hmm. Okay. I mean, he likes spending time with you, right? Oh. Yeah. Even if you really can't find anything. Mm-hmm. Hot dog. That's Fanta. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. <laughs> Aww. 
Yeah, baby, they're going to come home. He's a cute little butthead. <gasps> no, baby. Boy, it reminds me of my Cody. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got something for ya. But you did a good job though. Oh. You're such a good boy. Oh, baby. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's the button. See, you did something good. No. <laughs> Huh? You okay? Mama, you did a good job. Uh -huh. so proud of you. Uh-oh. You literally need to go to a spa.
Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Hmm? That's him. <laughs> it is rock. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna face so bad on. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm. It's okay. <laughs> it 
is really messed up, right? No, your impact, Mama. Oh, mama. I love the pictures that they used for it. Honestly, that's beautiful. Now, yes, the misunderstanding that, you know, it was one of his co-workers and not his former boss. It still would have been interesting if it was his former boss, I'm just saying. But I, I love the fact that Chido, like, stepped up and stood up was like, all right, like, yes, you're still traumatized. Let me, your new manager, stand up to him. But at the same time, oh, my God. Like, baby was like, mm-mm. Like, I can't have you do everything for me. I gotta do it too. Oh my god, that was so cute. The field. Oh my god, I cannot. I'm crying. <laughs> it was so cute. Like, oh my god. I also love the fact that they also went, you know, apartment hunting. It was really nice, especially for the fact is... Momo is looking for something. I think there's a point in time where Momo feels like he's overstepping his boundary and staying with Shido, and I get that. I think, you know, for whoever you're living with, you feel like that with someone. Even though they say, like, no, you're not, you still secretly kind of feel like that. And so, yeah, even though the four or five apartments they looked at were not really the best, um, I love the fact that... <laughs> Shido was like, you know, hey, you can sing as long as you want. Like, not only I'll miss you, Hakuto will miss you. You're not painting. What if it's in the same neighborhood? What if it's in the same building? I feel bad that, you know, she's already found another apartment that's great for him and such. But I also feel happy for him because, you know, hey, he can, you know, stop living with his manager and have his own place and stuff. Because it, it's like this. Think about... Mm, okay. I, I gotta use, like, somewhat of a real-world situation that I've kind of been into. Okay. So, a couple of years ago, um, we had a really bad hurricane um here and at the time of where I was living it wasn't the greatest for me to be by myself and stuff so my mom and I um decided to bunk down at my aunt's house now when you're bunking down with I can't say the same thing for friends I'm just gonna say family um at first you're all cool with it and such but you know how with certain families, I can't say for everyone, but with my aunt and the way she is, um, she has some rules and stuff. We abide by them and everything, da da da, da. Um, But let's just say long story short, there was a situation that happened um, and it got very... 
mm, let's say not so nice in a way. Um, and my mom and I left, just went to go cool our heads off, and then we came back and then found some other things, and I was just like, okay, whatever. Um, but long story short, I'll say this. I don't like when people raise their voice at me, um, especially if it's something over that's really really little and such I feel very much attacked and such and so something like that did happen um to the point that I I took my dog out on a walk and I cried and just walked around and just cried for like a good 5 10 15 minutes and so when I came back in the house I stopped crying I had to make sure that you know coming back in there I was like nobody sees me cry and shit um because I don't feel like dealing with that and such. It's almost like, in a way, I almost had like a breakdown there and stuff. And so that's why even now when we have hurricanes or anything, I think God that I'm not over there and such. But those are the one of the many things of what I think of overstepping your boundary is. And so would I ever go over there if a hurricane happened again? Fuck no. That was a once in a lifetime experience and it will never go back. I even, I vowed, I said that shit on Twitter and I said I vowed never to go. I was like, I want to be in my own place, safe and sound and stuff, make sure I have everything. That it's like a last minute resort. But, I, and I get it for Momo because he's so comfortable now being there with Shadow and Hawk Doll that it, it's super weird if he leaves. But like I said, what if his, the new apartment is where they currently live? I think that would be really nice because then, yeah, they get to see each other every day. He'll be able to go over and see Hakdo anytime he wants and stuff. And he wouldn't be overstepping his boundaries on a situation. Because, yeah, people want their space. People don't, um, especially if you're, like, angry at someone, you don't want to go somewhere and then, like, five seconds later you just see them and such. So I get that. But, you know, because Mo and Shirto have this really good partnership and relationship that they're fine being around each other but you can't say that for anybody else in the other world in this world today because sometimes one minute I can love you and the next minute I can freaking hate you and I want to punch you in the face but here's helping the apartments in the same building but other than that guys that is my reaction to towards episode 11 of my new boss is goofy if you uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday. I'm guessing for the final episode. Also, here's hoping it's a Christmas episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.